um, we're looking for five key nutrient factors. We're looking for the protein, the fat, the fiber, the calcium, and the phosphorus. That's what you want at bare bones. You want to make sure that we are, you know, at least meeting those marks before you get into some of the other things. Example, one of the other things that you may use on your secondary approach is the vitamin E. Right here, it's vitamin E 56.09 international units per kilograms. That's pretty wimpy. You need to be at least 500 to get the real good antioxidant effects from vitamin E. The reason why they are probably really wimpy on the vitamin E was one of these marketing things that I saw here earlier. Yeah, 100% natural vitamins and minerals. So unfortunately, when you don't add a synthetic vitamin pack, you are gonna see in a lot of these foods that they are suboptimal on vitamin E. You, you know, in order to do that, you do need to add some synthetics to your diet. So I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, synthetic vitamins are so bad, don't use synthetics. If you don't use synthetics, you're gonna have to accept the trade-off that you're not gonna probably get that 500 um, vitamin E uh, level to really get the antioxidant effects. And so you really need to think about that is that a good thing? In my opinion, no, it's not a good thing. If you are so, if you are so set on not using synthetics that you are pr providing a suboptimal product, um, you know, I don't see the point in that. The point in that is marketing because they want to draw you in with that. Oh, we don't use synthetics, but they are leaving out the bit of important information is we don't use synthetics, therefore you're not getting the antioxidant effects of vitamin E like some of these other brands that do actually use some synthetics on top of the natural. You know, just because a company uses synthetic vitamins doesn't mean that it doesn't have natural in there as well. They want you to think that, but um, you know, a lot of them probably are bringing to the table this 56 something in that category and then they're adding on top of it. So um, that would be part of the second line approach. There's no no points for that. Here we've got